What's up, bosses? It's time for your Daily Trucker News Update. I'm Carlin Stafford. And I'm Nikki Snyder, and we have a lot of news to cover today, including driver has seconds to save a life, economic predictions for 2021, and Make-A-Wish Convoy is back in business. So let's get trucking. Volkswagen AG's Trayton Group, which soon will be the parent of Navistar International, will spend, I should say, $1.9 billion on truck electrification by 2025. Some of that money could help Navistar advance early battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell programs. Trayton earlier committed to spend $1.2 billion on electric mobility by mid-decade. As it increases investment in battery electric and fuel cells commercial vehicles, Trayton will trim spending on traditional powertrains. Less than one-fifth of all product development will be spent on conventional drives. A Canadian truck driver, Dominic LeFrancois, shared astonishing dash cam video of his evasive maneuver to save the life of a person who ran in front of his vehicle. Viewer discretion is advised. According to the video description, the man survived without serious injuries. You know, that is extremely lucky that he survived without serious injuries. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing that he was able to, you know, be that quick. Literally <laughs> seconds. I mean, he's just going down the high. I mean, you all saw the video. He's just runs right in front of him and he just at the split second. Like, I'm just so glad his reflexes were that fast mm -hmm. and he was able to make that decision. Like, whew, that, that's, that's that some defensive scary stuff. driving that they always talk about. So Absolutely. great job for you being that yes. quick. <laughs> Thanks for looking out. Well, eco economists, I should say, predict the United States economy broadly and trucking economy specifically are poised for a rocket like recovery in the second half of 2021, propelled by $1.9 trillion in federal stimulus money and millions of Americans who will receive the COVID-19 vaccination and return to restaurants, ballparks, and theaters. Adding to this optimism is a recent analysis from BMO Capital Markets that indicates American households have saved a whopping $1.7 trillion in 2020 and early 2021. Well, here's more good news, Carlin. After nearly five decades of professionally driving for YRC Freight, Robert Herber has logged his fifth million or five millionth consecutive mile without a single preventative accident. During Herber's 45 year career with Yellow, he has worked out of seven different terminals across the country. He currently drives a dedicated route from Jackson, Mississippi to Jacksonville, Florida. Congratulations, Robert. Keep up the good work. Great job there. You know, always a good story when we hear someone achieving millionth Five mile million miles. without an accident. Like that's, that is that's fantastic. I yeah. mean, that is really something to celebrate about. I think that's just awesome. It really great job there. Yes. Now, the U.S. House passed legislation March 16th that would extend the application deadline for the Paycheck Protection Program by three months. The measure now goes to the Senate for approval. The PPP Extension Act of 2021 would extend the March 31st deadline to June 30th for businesses interested in a loan. Now, the process for effectively turning a PPP loan into a grant had been simplified since the PPP's first round. Those interested in applying should visit SBA.gov to find a lender in your area. The annual Make-A-Wish Mother's Day truck convoy in Pennsylvania returns to its traditional weekend this year after being delayed to later in the year last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This year's 100 truck convoy will include the top 30 drivers who raised the most money for the Philadelphia, Delaware and forgive me if I butcher this, that's the Susquehanna Valley. Make a wish chapter key sponsors and drivers who commit to fundraising at least $500. The drivers will leave Man Mannheim, Pennsylvania auto auction at 1:30 PM on Sunday, May 9th. Make a wish will be broadcasting the convoy live on their Facebook page for fans to watch at home. You know, really great to see some of the events come back after COVID-19. Yes, makes now my that, heart happy. Right now that everything's kind of getting a little bit back to normal. We're still rolling out those vaccines, so hopefully everybody's in line to get those, but hopefully we're talking late summer and everything's, you know, normal again. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, that does it for today's update. <laughs> Make sure to tune in tomorrow for more of the trucking news you need.